track the crystal too? You're joking. It's no joke. Next time is gone. Hopefully it's nothing, but I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Blackthorn, do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, that you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well... Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you? Nah. No, no, no. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged. And extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignax, the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favourite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dallamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's... a touch eccentric. If you take my main in. I appreciate the warning. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Back again, are you? Any more trouble and you'll be barred for life, however deep your friend's pockets might be. The same Drake's fang is gone. The whole Mother Crystal gone. 
What are we gonna do? Calm yourself. We don't know for sure. It could have just been a tremor. Here. You. Listen. I I've got this theory. The fallen. I don't think they all fell. Some of them are still living among us. You could be one of them. I could be one of them. Welcome. If you're hoping for a bed, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. One of our wealthier patrons has purchased the use of every room, hoping to keep out the riffraff, as he puts it. My reputation will be ruined! Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time. And he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat... fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen? Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You have but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia.
got company! Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off! <laughs> <laughs> This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Dalamel. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name, indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redim here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. It was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond the Twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. 
However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. Lord Byron Rosfield, and is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about our sword then? I did better than that. I... a whetstone? Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the Curse Breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the play to rattle me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the Curse Breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing, for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel, with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just... don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age, and I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Okay, yeah. So, what it be? 